Assalamu alaikum. My name is Jamie and I converted to Islam a week and a half ago. Week and a half ago, okay. What? I don't know when this is filmed though. How long ago was a week and a half ago? Huh. Wow. Is that old Before photos I of her? Muslim, I was not a very conservative person. I was not, I was not a very good person. Uh, I modeled for Playboy. I did oh. that for about five years. And during that time, um, I, I did a lot of drugs. And I thought, oh, I can do meth and I won't get addicted because I'm just using it as a, as a weight loss helper. And, you know, I, I'll just use it every once in a while to just keep myself from eating so much. Yeah. Right. I thought I was strong enough to not get addicted to a drug that absolutely addicts basically everyone who uses it. Wow. So I started doing meth and Jeez. I would probably give it a couple weeks and then I got really addicted to it and I did it all day and all night for five years. And it really brought me to a place of complete rock bottom. And my husband at that time had been doing it with me and he started getting violent with me and I was afraid for my life. So uh, I decided to quit. I decided that that's not what I wanted for my life. And I told him, I said, I'm going to quit. And he laughed at me and he said, yeah, right. You're not going to quit. And I said, you know oh, what? Man. I'm going to quit. Good for her. I quit that day cold turkey. Good. Never again looked back. I didn't have any type of rehab, no outside help, no support system. I had my husband laughing at me and trying to get wow. me to do it again. Not supportive After husband that, at all. I had my little boy. Ah, uh, look at him. My whole focus on life kind of changed. I, I had this wonderful little boy who needed a good mother, and I, I loved him so much. I wanted to change everything that I focused on for him. All right, guess what's gonna happen? The train's gonna take off. Look at that <laughs> Back in the day, I could do anything I wanted. I, I was very involved in basically the Hollywood scene that anybody would want to be involved in. A lot of people are surprised that I gave that up in order to become a Muslim. But the funny thing is, is, is when I said my Shahada, the desire to do all those things was completely taken away from me. I used to drink, did drugs, you know, all that stuff. I don't want to do them anymore. It's amazing to me that I, I really enjoy and feel peaceful in my heart about being a Muslim. I was born and raised a uh, non-denominational, charismatic, born-again Christian, and I didn't find answers for what I was looking for for 31 years as a Christian. Wow. I never really felt God. I tried as hard as I could. I really did, and I never felt Him. And I'm the Imam uh, and the religious director of the Islamic Institute of Orange County. Uh, became the Imam here in 2006, and I have been uh, serving in that role uh, ever since. Uh, our community is very uh, uh, diverse. We have so many uh, you know, people uh, who represent pretty much uh, a very wide uh, ethnic uh, group. So we have uh, immigrants and we have indigenous um, you know, people. We have uh, uh, you know, Arabs, non-Arabs, uh, uh, and even the Arabs are you know, from a, a wide range of places. Recently, we have been having a very interesting uh, increase in the number of people who become Muslim. One to two individuals a week become Muslim since the beginning of the year. This is this year. This is not every year, but this year. This inc inc increased wave of uh, hate and bigotry uh, against Muslims um, is actually causing more people to investigate and learn about Islam. And many of them, you know, end up choosing you know, Islam as, as their way of life. I researched Islam for a while before I chose to convert. Um, basically, I wanted to know why people hated Muslims so much because, you know, I saw what I saw on the news. I saw the oppression and the violence, and I wanted to know 
what really existed and if that was the way that Islam was. So I started researching it and the more and more I researched it, the deeper I got into it, I saw, I saw the truth in it. I think the main thing that I liked about Islam was the respect for women. There is, there is a large amount of respect for women and the things that we do as women. Our lives aren't easy. We have a lot of things that we have to think and worry about. Our families, our husbands, our children. I mean, we have to bear children. That's a really hard thing to go through. And, you know, a lot of us have to cook and clean and work and raise children and take care of, you know, the house and our husband. It's, it's a difficult job. And the fact that Islam respects women for that and, you know, they separate us, they separate us at mosques so that the men aren't distracted by us because they understand, Islam understands the power that we have behind our, well, I guess you could say our sexuality, the way that we look is powerful to men and they're affected by it. And Islam respects that. Once I realized that, it really just, it grabbed a hold of me. And that's when I knew I wanted to become a Muslim. How many Frankies do you have? Converting to Islam made me feel different. It made me feel absolutely peaceful. It, uh, it took away, I, I felt unstable before. I felt like a lot of things in my life were, were just up and down. And it, there was a lot of things that were up and down because they hadn't been decided on. There was no, there was no goal in mind. There was no reasoning for me being here. There, you know, I didn't know why I should be here. And converting to Islam gave me the peace and the security and the just the balance that I needed in my life. It made everything make sense. It made everything real. And it made everything worth being here for because I finally have a purpose and I understand what it is. Interesting. I hear that a lot. People finding purpose. We don't always have the opportunity okay. to meet people that we essentially need to meet in order to understand them. So I started going to mosque in order to really get close to the people and understand them. And the more I got involved in the mosque, the more the women just surrounded me and took me in. And they've really shown me the kindness that is Islam. I never, ever, 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 ever in my life would have would have ever thought that I'd become a Muslim, ever, never ever. My, my perception of them was so misconceived that I didn't like them because She's I, didn't like Muslims. And I thought that they were bad and wow. never in a million years would I have thought that one day I'd be one of them. But now that I am, I am so proud. I am so happy. I, I want to wear hijab because I want people to know that I'm Muslim. Even if they hate me, I don't care. I want to show them that Allah exists in any kind of person, not just Middle Eastern. Never really knew about my past with the drugs and the Playboy modeling and all that stuff. He and I didn't speak for eight years. He kicked me out of the house when I was 17 years old and I lived under a freeway overpass for a week. I was homeless and all I had with me was what I could fit into my backpack and my bass guitar. So we didn't speak for eight years after that. And mm. what he didn't understand or wouldn't have understood is that these are experiences that I needed to have on my own. I needed to, to have the pain on my own and I needed to have the recovery on my own. The only reason why I started speaking to him again was because I got pregnant with my son and I, I figured that my son needed a grandfather. When I did come back and finally start speaking to him again, we had a, a beautiful conversation together and we discussed what had happened before and we both apologized to each other and promised to never do it again. So That's good. It's really good. This is my daddy. And he's my best friend in the whole wide world. Hmm. And that's something I never thought was gonna happen. But now that it has, I love him so much.
The first time my dad learned about my conversion, I was on my way home from Sacramento. I had just gone to a mosque up there and converted. And I was, I was driving home, and I was too afraid to call him because I knew he was going to be really mad. So I, I texted him on the phone, and I said, Dad, can you please try to start having an open mind about Muslims? Can you please start just not being so judgmental and believing everything you see on the news? And he texted me back and said, why? So I said, well, Dad, um, I'm Muslim. I'm Muslim. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Now it's been a huge shock for him. My, my father was not too pleased when he found out that I converted to Islam. He was quite unhappy uh, to the point where I've, I feared that I was going to have to leave. We, we live in the same home and we work at the same job and I oh, haven't really? gone back to the job since. But living at home has been very tense. He's, he's been very, uh, very confrontational about it at times. Hmm. Wow. Another text from my dad trying to protect me, which I understand. Um, he's definitely misinformed as to what is going on. The most beautiful thing about Islam is that if a person decides to submit oneself wholeheartedly towards it, Allah forgives all his past sins, regardless of how grave they might be. This video will walk you through the fascinating conversion journey of an American woman named Jamie, who before becoming a Muslim in 2012, was a drug addict and playboy model. To begin with, oh. Jamie was raised as a non-denominational Christian. She had a rough teenage, mainly because when she was 17, her father kicked her out of the house. Thereafter, she was homeless for a week, which she spent under a freeway pass. All she had was whatever she could fit in her backpack and a bass guitar. With no one to guide her, she got caught up in the evils of society, starting drugs and enrolling for the Playboy magazine. Jamie worked for the Playboy magazine for five years. During this time, she got married to an Iranian Christian man and became a drug addict. At first, she would convince herself that she was just taking the drugs for weight loss and that she would be able to control the urges. However, soon the urge to take more and more drugs overcame her and she lost control of her drug intake. She reached the absolute rock bottom of her life her husband, taking drugs with her, didn't make things any easier. He was also mentally and emotionally abusing her. According to Jamie, her husband wanted to control her, and he was doing so by slowly poisoning her through drugs. Being afraid of her life, Jamie decided to quit drugs. Her husband laughed at her and said that she won't quit. However, Jamie's decision was firm. She quit drugs and promised herself to never look back. Up Good until that point, although Jamie was a Christian, religion didn't play a significant part in her life. It's true that Jamie was in quest of answers for everything around her, but whenever she had tried to develop some sort of connection to God, she just couldn't feel anything. Moving on, soon after she quit using drugs, Jamie had a son. The birth mm. of a child completely <laughs> changed the focus of her life. She wanted to be a better mother for her son, so she left her violent husband to undertake a journey to learn about Islam. She wanted to know what was truly going on in the world, why everyone hated Muslims so much, and the truth about Islam. So she researched Islam in depth. She was greatly impressed by the respect that Islam gives women. In an interview with her after her conversion to Islam, she said that Islam appreciates the difficult tasks that women have to carry out in their lives, like bearing a child, cooking and cleaning, and gives them the appropriate respect. She said that Islam understands how powerful and distracting a woman's outlook can be to men, so it keeps them separated in a mosque. So being completely engrossed by the teachings of Islam, Jamie decided to accept Islam at the age of 31. After she uttered Shahada, Jamie spoke of how giving up her former life in Hollywood 
when she was basically at the point where anyone would have wanted to be, felt completely okay. She no longer felt the desire to drink or do all those things that she used to do. Furthermore, the unstable and purposeless feeling that she had before becoming a Muslim was gone. She felt peaceful, secure, and finally everything made sense to her. She finally had a goal in life that she had longed for. Jamie also remarked that before, she was so influenced by the negative image of Muslims portrayed on the media that she never in a million years would have thought that she would end up becoming a Muslim. Anyway, she was glad she got to see the truth. Soon after her conversion, she began visiting the mosque to get acquainted with her Muslim sisters who were really kind to her. Jamie is a true embodiment of a modern-day Muslim woman. As apart from following the Islamic dressing code and wearing a hijab, she engages in sports that she loves such as skateboarding and wakeboarding. She believes that being a Muslim doesn't mean that one stops doing the things that they enjoy. She says right. that while men used to give you her inappropriate looks when she wore revealing clothes before her conversion, she feels more respected and confident now that she wears a hijab. Moving on, it's worth mentioning that Jamie had settled her differences with her father when she got pregnant. She wanted her child to have a grandfather. She thought mm. long and hard before telling her father of her conversion to Islam. As expected, he wasn't too pleased with the decision. He too thought of Muslims as extremists due to what he saw on the media. He told Jamie that if she would leave Islam now, Muslims would threaten her. Jamie, however, kept telling him that is not the truth about Muslims and that Islam indeed is a religion of peace. She believes that if she keeps doing good and positive things, her father may one day see Islam for what it really is. Talking about her son Jaden, Jamie says that he turned out to be Allah's gift. She says that he truly enjoys going to the mosque and gets excited when it's time to pray. Coming back to Jamie, she defines her journey to Islam in the following words. I kind of feel like a butterfly, like I was once wrapped in a cocoon. And I was wrapped in a cocoon of sins of everything that was making my life toxic and wrong. And now I finally come out of it and I've become a butterfly. She says that as long as she lives, she aims to spread the truth of Islam to whoever she can. The truth that transformed her life in the finest possible way.